Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be straightening my hair. I successfully completed my mini no heat challenge. I haven't straightened my hair in over three months and I haven't used any heat, so no blow dryer for about a month and a half. And I have been dying to straighten my hair. So today I am going to do it just in time for Canada Day. I decided to use my Tymo hair straightener this time just as I wanted to quickly straighten my hair before I had to go out. So I'm going to quickly go over how I prepped my hair for straightening. I did a scalp treatment. I use head and shoulders as my scalp treatment. I'll apply head and shoulders shampoo directly to my scalp. I use my spray bottle with water to help dilute the shampoo. And then I will give my scalp a massage. I'll let the shampoo soak on my scalp for about 15 minutes. And then I rinse. And then I went in with my Herbal Essence shampoo. Shampooed my hair twice. And then I followed up with the match. Herbal Essence Conditioner, deep conditioned for about 45 minutes, rinse, and then I applied a combination of the Color Wow Supernatural Dream Coat Heat Protectant Spray and a little bit of my Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer, blow dried my hair, let my hair sleep overnight just to make sure that my hair is 100% dry morning now and I am going straight in with the Tymo, not applying any additional products. I'm starting from the back of my head, moving my way towards the front. I'm doing my sections about an inch, an inch and a half. The one thing I really like about the Tymo is that I'm able to do larger sections compared to when I'm using my Babless hair straightener. My Babless is one and a half inch and I wouldn't be able to successfully get the section fully straightened in two passes with the Babyliss compared to the Tymo. The Tymo, I can do large chunks, large sections, and I can get the hair straightened just because the Tymo is designed in a way to keep the strands of the hair evenly spaced out as you glide the Tymo throughout your section. I use the Tymo on the highest heat setting that it has. I hold it at the roots for a couple seconds and then I will slowly glide it through the section and then repeat. So once again, just like I do with my regular hair straightener, I try to just do two passes, slow and controlled, so I'm not continuously putting high heat on my hair. If I had to give this straightener one con, it was that I'm not able to get the roots as straight as I would like to as it's hard to really get a good grasp at the roots, but I think I did pretty well. For those who are new to my channel, I consider myself a straight hair natural. I do not have any perms or chemical relaxers in my hair to give my hair a looser curl pattern. My hair is 3B3C, so it's got a little bit of a wave, a little bit of a curl. 100% natural. The only thing I do to my hair in term of, terms of chemical processing is I color it a dark black. I do it once a year. I use box dye. It's been over a year and a half now since I last dyed my hair. My hair is pretty healthy. I had a goal to grow it to tailbone length. I successfully completed that at the end of last year and in December of 2023 I decided to do a big chop went from tailbone to a mini bob type of cut so I've been dying to re-straighten my hair and see how much growth I have had since chopping off almost 20 inches of hair. I think my hair is growing really well. I haven't trimmed or cut my hair since December. I wanted to see if I was maybe in need of a trim. Usually I do a trim every three to four months, but I think my ends are doing pretty well. Lots of growth. The ends are still pretty smooth and even. Probably will try to do a trim within the next couple weeks. But I think I am on a great track to regrowing my hair healthier and stronger.